All right, in this video, we want to talk about policies and how we can add authorization for certain tasks. So in our project, when we created our post model using the AFLY, this policies folder was created for us. And within that, we have a post policy. Let's just take a look at it. It is a class with a bunch of functions in it. And of course, we have these comments that is quite useful and it says what it does. But basically, each function corresponds to a method in our resource controller. And you notice that in all these functions, the user instance is automatically added for us because we want to make sure that a certain user is authorized to do a certain task. For example, view a post or create a post or update a post and so on. For instance, if I go to a post and then manually add the edit URI, I am able to see that page. So in our post controller, the edit method is rendering that page. So we want to use a policy for this method. Now in our policy, we have all these methods, like I said, and they can be used for different purposes. But for our application, a simple function would do. So I'm going to delete everything here and create my own function. Let's call it modify. So I want to see if the user is authorized to modify a post at all. It doesn't matter if it's delete, update, or view. It's just modifying a post. So we want to accept the user as well as the post instance because we want to see if that user owns that particular post. And the return type is going to be a Boolean. So basically a true or false value. And in the body, we just want to check if the user ID is the same as the post user ID. So this simple function would just check if the user ID is the same as user ID column in our post table. Basically, does this user own this post? Now let's see how we can use it in our controller. So again, this edit method in our post controller is rendering this view. And we want to make sure only the owner of that specific post can view this page because not only they need to be authorized, but they have to actually own that post. Now to add a policy to a certain function, we can use the gate facade. So we have multiple gates. The one that we want to import is from the facades. And on this gate class, we have a static method and that is authorized. This method is looking for a policy's ability. And in our policy, in our post policy, we called this function modify, which is basically the ability. So is this user able to modify this post? And as the second argument, we want to pass our post, which is accepted up here. We don't have to worry about user because that is being passed down automatically by Laravel. And that's all we have to do. All right. So right now we are not logged in. And if we try to reload this page, we get this action is unauthorized. We can check for the users if they were even logged in. So if I log in with John, go to the home page and go to Sarah's post. So this post belonged to Sarah. And if I try to go to edit page, I get this action is unauthorized because I do not own that post. So that's how you can add a policy. Now, all we have to do to protect certain functions is to add this line to any action that we want to protect. So I'm just going to copy this and add it to the update because only an authorized user can update this. So I'm going to add this authorizing the action comment and just going to copy it and add it for destroy as well. Now about the other methods. So the show method is public. We don't have to worry about it. Anyone can visit that. The store method is accessible by any authenticated user. So if they are registered, they can create a post. So we will get back to this in a moment. And we don't have a create method because it is being rendered in the dashboard. And of course the index page, again, we don't have to worry about it. That is accessible by anyone. So the only part is this store method. We have to ask ourselves, is this something to worry about? Because the only way to go to that form is to go to the dashboard. And we are already adding a middleware to our dashboard. Only authenticated users can go to the dashboard and see this form. But I'm going to show you how you can add controller middlewares to a specific function or exclude one or add just to one. So let's go to a Laravel documentation. So if we go to controllers, we have this controller middleware. And we talked about this briefly when we talked about middlewares. So first we need to implement the has middleware interface. So let's do that. I'm going to say implements has middleware. Then we need to use this middleware function. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it above everything. So this is where we can apply certain middlewares 
to different methods. So for example, I'm gonna get rid of this auth and then make sure this middleware is imported. So if we retype it, we want to make sure it is imported from routing controller, this one. So then we want to, for example, apply the auth middleware only to the store method. This method down here, store, now has the middleware auth. Or we could say, for example, for all of them, you need to be authenticated except index and show. So we can get rid of that one. So now if we go back to our project, let's go to the homepage. So it works and we are authenticated. Let's go to the show. So that means a specific post that works. Let's go to dashboard that works. Let's create a post. So new, new post very new post and press create. It is created down here and we can go to the homepage. It's right there. Again, let's go to dashboard. I'm just testing everything here. I'm gonna go to update. It works. I'm gonna update it. It is working. I'm gonna delete this ASD. So the second one, the post was deleted. So let's delete this updated, the last one. It is working. Now I'm gonna log out. So we are on the homepage we can see a specific post, but if we try to go to forward slash edit, so basically updating this post and we are not logged in, press enter, this time we are back to login page. This is because we are applying a middleware now. So remember before we were getting the error unauthorized, that was because of our policy. Now we have a middleware. So first we check if the user is authenticated and if they are not authenticated, they are redirected to the login page. Now I need to log in with the proper user. So let me go back. This is Sarah's post, right? And if I go to forward slash edit again and log in with that Sarah user, then I can see it. But let's do it again. Let's log out, visit this post again to forward slash edit. This time I want to log in with John who does not own the post. Log in, we get unauthorized. So this is where the policy comes in. Just by adding this simple function here, inside our controller, we can apply the middleware to all the methods except index and show. So we learned about the basics of authorization in this video, and there is a lot more to it, of course, but our application at this point is functional and it is working. So we have authentication in place. We have authorization. We learned about pagination, database migrations, database relationships, and so many other features. And from this video onward, we are just going to kind of improve our application. For example, I want to add uh, sending emails or adding images to our posts. So thank you again for staying with me up to this point and I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.